okay leaders uh crypto moguls this is going to be a quick video that shows you how to withdraw your cryptocurrency that you've purchased on altcoin trader and send it to your tron wallet so number one you need to log in and after logging in click on your drop down menu and there you will find your different options click on withdraw because we want to withdraw from altcoin trader and deposit into our trust wallet so click on withdraw. This is the screen that you will see. And on your screen, um, you can see there that my account is a level three account. It's because I have um, completed verification and um, yeah, verification levels up to level three. I'm using 2FA. And as a crypto mogul, somebody who wants to take advantage of cryptocurrency opportunities, the point is to make money. And so we want to increase um, our levels on our different exchange accounts uh, because we want to be moving quite a bit of funds the point is to make money and that's exactly what we are doing so on the withdrawal uh, screen you can withdraw rands you can read withdraw crypto and so we want to withdraw cryptocurrency so choose the cryptocurrency option and this is the screen that will come up you'll be asked which crypto would you like to withdraw so because we are withdrawing bnb on the search crypto tab Go in there, put your cursor in there and type BNB. When you type BNB, this is what will come up. BNB Binance Coin. Click on that option that comes up there. And now we are withdrawing the BNB, the Binance Coin. It's going to require two things from us. Our recipient address, where are these funds going? And also the amount that we would like to withdraw. So we're going to get the recipient address from the trust wallet. And as you can see there, um, it lets us know that we have 0 0.26, uh, et cetera, BNB available. That black icon that is there is very important. That simply means copy. So if you click on that black icon, that amount that shows there on available will be auto-filled in the amount um, in the amount section. So you don't have to type it out all over again. Simply click on that black icon and it will then be auto-filled. So now go to your trust wallet like you have over there. I'll go to the trust wallet and in your trust wallet, you are now going to choose the BNB smart chain, the one that has been highlighted in purple, as you can see there in the square. So we want to withdraw BNB from altcoin trader to, to the trust wallet click on bnb smart chain and it will then open up like this we want to receive it so we want the receiving address click on receive and your next screen will look like this here you have a qr code and you have um the rece the receiving address now we need the receiving address so you're going to click on copy you can use a, a qr code if you may be sending from another exchanger and you have the option to um, use the camera to get the the wallet address but because we are doing it via altcoin in this way we're going to copy the wallet address you don't have to write it down you don't have to put it on a different um, app all you need to do is click there where it says copy which is highlighted in blue click there and it will click this recipient address for you go back to altcoin trader now where it says withdraw bnb we are going to now paste this recipient address into this tab over here so as you can see there opened up the paste option pasted the address there clicked on the black icon uh, to auto fill that bnb amount and once those are filled you can see those um, circles the green circles with the white tick inside what altcoin trader does is that it checks the wallet address against the the chain that you are sending to so you cannot use for example a Tron wallet address to receive BNB. It will let you know that no, this address doesn't seem right. So then it will give you an error. It will give you a red um, exclamation there to say, no, this wallet, uh, this, this recipient address seems incorrect. So when the address is correct with the chain, you will get that green tick and the amount, the amount that we have put there, we do have that amount available. Hence we get the tick. And at the bottom, you will notice it says you will receive and what I receive and what I've put in amount are different because there is a fee that we are paying to have these funds sent. Just like when you are transacting in the traditional finance systems, the bank, whatever it might be, there are fees that are associated with it. Blockchain fees or, or crypto fees, what's good about them is that they're very affordable and our transactions are lightning fast. So after you've clicked on um, withdraw BNB, you'll come to the screen that says make a withdrawal. So you click on confirm. And remember, once you click on confirm, these 
um, these transactions are going to be final. So you want to make sure everything is correct. You've clicked on confirm. It says your withdrawal has been request was successful. Now you are going to get an email that requires you to confirm the withdrawal. And as you can see at the top there, the email already came in as soon as I clicked on um, OK. So now you're going to open up your email like I have here. Open up the email from Altcoin Trader. When you open it up, it gives you two options to either approve the withdrawal or cancel the withdrawal. So if you've made a mistake, you are able to cancel the withdrawal here, but you need to click on I approve this withdrawal in order for the transaction to go through. Once you've clicked on I approve the withdrawal, you will come to this withdrawal confirmation to say your withdrawal has been confirmed and will be processed. Once this happens, you cannot you cannot reverse this transaction. Once it's done, it is done. So you, if you've put the wrong wallet address or you've made a mistake, those funds are gone. So make sure that you follow the steps carefully. And once you've done it once or twice, though, it becomes really simple to do. So don't be afraid. And, you know, now you don't want to do it. Just make sure you follow the steps and take your time and be clear with what you are doing. So as you can see, a few minutes later, I got the notification from the trust wallet to say those funds have been received. I received this notification because I've allowed um, the wallet to send me notifications. As we get going and as we are earning um, every two minutes, I think my battery is going to take a little bit um, of, of, of strain there. So I'll probably switch these off later. But for now, they are on and I want to see my money coming in. And it's going to be exciting when we're all seeing our money coming in $5, $10, $20, $30, and uh, $40 and seeing it add up. Super exciting. So when I click on that notification, it brings me here to my trust wallet to show me that my funds were received successfully and there you are able to check everything you can even check the transaction on the blockchain and on my main screen as you can see here it shows me that my wallet um, the tokens and the coins in my wallet are valued at six dollars and sixty three cents to get started on force is going to cost me five dollars i need a few extra dollars on the side for transaction fees that's why um, i encourage all of us to get started with at least 150 rand because then you know you have enough to cover your uh, deposit fees with your exchanger the withdrawal fees with the exchanger and the fees that are going to be needed to execute the smart contract um, on the binance blockchain so that's how it goes folks very simple very easy to do and not um it's not rocket science it's just new so anything new you have to just learn your your way around it and you know maybe watch this video a few times feel free to share it with others invite others to subscribe to our channel and um all your tutorials are here everything you need to know to get your journey on force started all the apps how do i do this if you have a question if there's a video that you want us to do and we haven't done it simply comment and let us know hey please make a tutorial on how to do this and we'll definitely help if we can so enjoy folks let's make money and let's be empowered and make sure that everybody is able to do this for themselves